Well, I've skipped the intro, I'm sure you've all seen this. I'm going to do something special, and that is, I'm going to play this game, which is uh, obviously meant for little children, with a little challenge. Now, many people have been doing Nuzlocke's challenge, but I've made my own. And, oh, the music's gone. Pulling up the rules over here, I think it fits exactly in the screen. Well done. Uh, okay, let me read them for you. First rule is, while Pokemon cannot faint. Second rule is, you can't white out. Third rule, you can't battle the same trainer at the same place more than once. You can't use a rare candy if you got it from a Zigzagoon. You can't trade Pokemon with someone else, obviously. You can't use Pokemon that were left at the daycare uh, once you do that. You can't use a legendary. Let's see. You can't trade Pokemon with others. This is an extension to rule number five. Uh, rule number five is with other real life people. Rule number eight is with people in the game. Okay, so rules number one to eight really serve only one purpose, and that is the number of XP your team gains. Yeah, it's fixed. You can gain a little bit more or less by catching higher level Pokemon, but that's it. Right. Number nine. You can't use items during battles with trainers, otherwise you just stock up on a lot of potions. Number ten. You can't use F-E-A-R. If you don't know what that is, it means using a level one Pokemon with a certain moveset. Because the AI is stupid, it doesn't always have something to do against it, whence you can win with F-E-A-R. In fact, the black Elite Four could be beaten just by FEAR tactics. Rule number nine is extended to between the Elite Four, so it's actually a grueling challenge. Rule number twelve is the battle style must be set to set, otherwise you have an advantage over the other trainer. Rule number thirteen isn't really much of a rule. Our goal is to defeat the Elite Four without breaking anything. We're going to play with an emulator, as you've probably seen already, because, well, there's certain Pokémon that are just annoying, like Magnemite and Diglett, that can screw over rule number one. Just by encountering it, which is kind of stupid. And the last three things we're not going to do, we're just going to do the basic version. Because, hey, we've got to test this first. These were some additional ideas I had, but I'm sure they'll fail the basic version also fails. Right. First things first. This is important. This is important. This is important. Other than that, you can pick a pretty frame. In space! Right. That was something that... Okay. Yeah, fast text helps a lot. Apparently he still always puts out that low tad. Well, okay, we pick an aim. I guess we'll go with the boy this time. Hmm. What shall we call ourselves? Let's go with this. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, he's moving to Little Roots. Great. Awesome. This scene takes 
Such a long time, but it's all right. It's all right. Back of the truck opens. You walk out, etc. Mum comes out. Now, why do you leave? Why did you leave me in the truck? Why couldn't you just, well, take me with you? It's really weird. Just stuck you inside a truck. Who knows what happened inside the truck? What kinds of horrible things? Right. Yeah, it's all nice. We're making men dress up in costumes and do all the work for you. I'm on to you. Nah. Actually, those don't look like the most clever of... Yeah. <laughs> of movers. Oh, I suppose it could always be worse. You could make a 50-foot snail do the moving of your house. That'll go off well. Or maybe a Tyrannosaurus. Right, you can set the clock, but it's completely pointless. Although some Pokemon, I think, only encounter or evolve at some points of the day. Uh, whatever you do. It'll be perpetually half past 3 p.m. in the world. Yeah. Comes in. Explains about your desk. We already know there's one more thing we have to do, and that's withdraw the potion, even though it isn't really very useful. It's this bed. It complains it's got the gut going. Same with the TV and the thing. The only other useful thing is the map, which tells us right away what we're going to do. We're going to go from here to Oldale to Petalburg, up to here, all the way down here, up here, around, and then. You get a bit of a choice, so you gotta wriggle around here a bit and wriggle around some more, go back, go back. Let's see, go up here, back up here, back here, another time, another time. Yeah, that's. Then you go here, and then you start flying around the place. Yeah. The route isn't the most efficient, since. Your goal is here, by the way. <laughs> but, <laughs> I digress. It's great, isn't it? So she calls you over to the TV just as it's over. Really? She's just cruel. It's no wonder he's running away to go, I don't know, piss off and s catch a mangy rat in a ball and throw it at other people. Right, so to get she instructs you to go over to Professor Birch's house, so there's nothing else you can do and that's her wife his wife. Her wife, yes, Professor Birch is also a woman in disguise. It's true. Oh no. <laughs> I slipped up. Right. Our daughter is upstairs. It's funny how they have this little guy as well. In the in the anime, I think that's a, like a main character. I don't know. I've s I haven't seen any episodes beyond like the first. I think the first two, three seasons. So at the moment you click on the Pokeball, she comes in, says, "Who are you?" Oh, you could have inspected that computer, but. So she says, like, I was supposed to help Dad catch some wild Pokemon, and she just goes behind his computer, behind her computer. And all she really does is, well, maybe it's, maybe she's playing Pokemon on that computer. Inception. <laughs> Amazing. All right, so talk about her. That may. She's too busy. Oh, well, she's certainly busy doing something behind that computer, all right. Power of science. It's always that guy. Blah, blah. This must be 
purchase place, right? Yes, we know what field work is. So you get instructed to go out. There's this little girl up top who won't let you pass. Interestingly enough, if you don't go through the talk to the aide, she won't let you pass either. How could she know? She's actually secretly a transdimensional being in disguise. And that must be it. I'm talking to Cthulhu. Actually, there was some anime where I believe there was like a Nyarlathotep, which was just replaced by a little girl. Or actually, she, or actually it, more like it, wanted to, uh, <laughs> she wanted to take that form. Okay, so we get a pick starter. Now, everyone in the world wants me to go with Mudkip. But, now that I think about it, it doesn't really matter that much, because I'm thinking I'm not really going to use this starter so much. So I might as well go with the one that'll give me... Well, Mudkip will give you an edge, but this one will also give you... Not on the first gym, but I've got a different plan for that in mind. Well, this should do just fine. I like doing things a little differently. Oh, the sprites are hideous. <laughs> right, another matter. Well, I, I don't really care about the nature of my starter and everything, so... What was it? Restart the game 20 times until I got just the right combination! No, seriously. Right, defeat of the Zigzagoon. I might as well save. First slot. I could have done the fifth slot. Now there's a thought. I could have done the fifth slot, and every time I choose a new save, I'd add 13 to the number of the current save and take it modulo 10. Why? I don't care. It's the same as having three. Uh, give it a nickname. Yeah. Alright, what shall we call our chicken? Yeah. Just annoy all the people with OCD out there. And implying that he's racist at the same time, by the way. Uh, do you think it might be a good idea to go see me? Well, I don't think it's a good idea, but unless I say yes, you're going to keep bothering about it until I say, well, yes. So he just asked you to go beat up her. I'm saying her again. <laughs> beat up his daughter. <laughs> right. Well, let's go heal then. Yeah. About that bit. Well, this thing's brave. Oh, interesting. It's got some attack stat to match. I guess that's nice. Uh, I don't really... I'm not really interested in it, actually. <laughs> I've got something else in mind. There's a reason why I picked Emerald. I can't remember what it was, though. It was, had something to do with my team builder. I'll, I'll, I'll look it up. I've got the notes. <laughs> it's not really effective right now, anyway. So, well, rule number one, I gotta run away. 
rule number one says I'm not allowed to beat it. It's a green peas challenge, or I'm calling it poker peas challenge, or aphids challenge, or what have you. Talk to this guy, and I get this really cute, friendly music, and a free potion. Don't bother me with the music, give me the potion. Thank you. So yeah, it's a Pokemon without balls. <laughs> Actually, maybe there are some inside. Yeah, I guess there are some, but not the kind I'm looking for. Oh, derpy derpy. Well, I've gone through Route 103, and, well, there's tall grass. Yes. Well, there are, of course, any number of round objects in a shop, usually, but... That zigzagoon? Zigzagoon, what have you. I've got to run away from it. I'm surprised he managed to do that. Alright. Well, ask me how. And talk to her. The Pokemon on Route 103 found continue to include Zigzagoon, Winkle, and um, Puccina. That's about it. So she just out of the blue gives you a battle, right? Sends out her Mutkip. I hate her Whalmer, so. I guess it's a good idea they gave our Mutkip. Seriously though, that Whalmer's annoying as all hell. Right, so we got an attack set of 12, a defense of 10, 20 HP. Uh, Scratch does an average of about 6, 5 to 6 damage, which means it takes 4 Scratches to down it. But with and Grohl, Scratch becomes power at 1.5, which means um, it might save as a move. Yeah. Top notch analysis there. Now he didn't Grohl. So that means we shall now three scratches. Well, actually, the girl gave us a, a move advantage because it takes him longer to down me. So he's not doing three damage. If I roll again, he'll do two damage, which will save me a couple more turns. But again, the risk of a crit is, of course, always present. I guess I should do a second one, though. Now his attack is at 50%. That should, yeah. Down his damage only two. Keep in mind, Chris will still do eight, so yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. So I only have three moves left. Yeah, alright. <laughs> there we go. Well, that's uh, unfortunate, but. And again, I always have that kind of luck. Right, let's use the speed up function. Oh no, I've got to name it again. Well, I guess. I guess we'll go with something different. We'll go with R. Wait, what am I doing? <sighs> yeah. I'm going to go with R. Press the wrong button. There we go. Well, I'll call it something original. Yeah, all right. I don't think it's a good idea. She cheats. I don't think she does is give me critical hits in my head. I'm oh, thinking about it. The probability of that happening is about 1 in 100 or so? Uh, the crit is actually 5%, so it's 1 in 400. Go figure. Right. All right. <laughs> Back where we were before. Trainer May wants the battle. Sends out Mudkip. Great. You send out a little chicken. Now each roll reduces. Uh, so we'll just go with the same strategy. It sounded good in my head the first time I thought it up. So it'll still be good now. 
We'll do three damage. I'm so smart. I'm figuring he'll do either two or nine damage. Or eight or what was it? Another three. Okay, so this mudkip has a higher attack stat. So that roll was pointless. Unfortunately. I mean, it wasn't. <laughs> yeah, but that. Pokemon attacks have a bit of a random. It's not going to always do the same exact amount. Ten percent random, isn't it? But most of the time it'll be two. Hey, no crit hacks now this time. Actually, one crit would have even been a problem. Torture, you're weak. Right, level 6. Get a bunch of special attack, which is completely pointless at the point. And yeah, the Mudkip gives a lot of XP. I don't know what kind of level progression he has. I think it's mid I think it's mid-slow? Most starters have mid-slow. I know that none have fast. Yeah, level up. 236 at 7. <laughs> That's not the third power of 7, so it isn't normal. It also isn't slow, it also isn't fast. Because it's not a multiple of a third power of 7, it's not even close to that. Third power of 7 is? 49 times 7? Yeah. 343. So slow would have around, uh, fast would have around 270 XP to get to level 7. So it should be mid-slow. Yeah, uh, that's the XP progression. Um, XP progression curves, there's several of them. There's fast, 800k to level 100. I'll always speed up the Pokemon centers because it's boring. Um, I'm not really a fan of the music. At least it's a bit more varying. I was talking about XP progression. And I'll hurry home, she said, so well, what she really meant by that, of course, is get to Birch's lab. Uh, that's right. Mid slow is I think one point oh five million. Mid is one million, slow is one point two five million. There's also erratic and fluctuating in this new game. Which are uh, 600k and 1.6 million respectively. However, they're a bit weird because uh, fl uh, fluctuating doesn't really start requiring a lot of XP until you get to the 40s. And erratic is just the other way around. It requires lots of XP until you get to about level 40. Oh, the thing is 30 something. And then it just just does it go up as quickly. And actually it starts going down XP per level required. Level 99 requires less than level 79, I think. 69, even. So you give she gives you five Pokeballs. Which, to be frank, just isn't enough. She doesn't have enough balls. We've got to buy some more. I'm feeling, uh, oh wait, I'm feeling like I want some running shoes, right? It's the first good thing that woman's done in the entire game. And it's, by the way, the last time we'll ever see her. Probably. Yeah. This is other games the mom had a little bit more to do. In, in Silver, she just... Well, she spent your money, I guess, so it wasn't really good, but at least she did something. Oh, yeah. A Puchiena appeared. About that Puchiena, oh, yeah, we we're really scared of it. Hello. I've got some Pokeballs, so I might as well catch things. Uh, before I catch something, it's a good idea to save anyway, because if you get an unfortunate critical hit, then, you know... I'll get a string shot here. And a scratch again. And use one of these.
Some people believe that pressing buttons changes things like Pokeballs and confusion. I'll give you a hint. Since the time of Pokemon Red, it hasn't. I don't know if it did in Red because Red was just so glitchy that it might have as well. Will we nickname our Wurmple? Yeah, sure. Eh. Another R. Hmm. I'll be forever known as Scream the Wormpole. He's in my team too now, I think. Yeah, look at that Wormpole. He is awesome. He is relaxed too. Alright, that means I've got to save. Yeah, I'm going to save often. We uh, might as well catch the other guys. No point in delaying. <laughs> Well, actually, there is a point in the link just a bit. <laughs> yeah, about that tackle you just used. It did just two damage. Okay, that looks good. This all's fairly standard fair. You can tell I'm not doing a Nuzlocke because I've caught two already. That's okay. We're doing something else. And it's going to be hard in a different way, as you'll soon realize. You know, whenever I hear the cry of a Poochain, I always got to think about like a pirate saying, Yarr! Because it just sounds like... We even got the spelling correct. It's important, you know. So you do, when you Im imitate a proper pirate noise, that you spell it correctly. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that. Got to remember to put the speed up key somewhere else. A bit too close for comfort. Oh, I'm just so tired. It's making me retarded. I do think there's still a zigzagoon to be caught here. And a wingle up there. I guess statistically it'd be mathematically better if I caught the zigzagoon up there as well. It's a female zigzagoon. Yeah, about that critical hit, Torchic. You're not allowed to do that. Um, yeah. Use the growl. That means I can do one more scratch. Ain't I a genius? Yeah, so the rule gets broken rather easily by critical hits at the start of the game, but once you get to a little bit higher level, you can more easily manage catching things. Which is a big help. I do believe a level 2 Zigzagoon with one health would be no problem. His data will be added. Oh, isn't he cute? She shall be forever known as uh, 
Hmm. Let's see. There we go. French inspiration. Got to think for a bit before settling on names. Right, it should be about time to get back to the Pokemon Center. There was also a guy uh, to the left who was sketching footprints of an unknown Pokemon. Turns out it's his own footprints, but we all already knew that, so I'm not bothering with most of the stuff. I'm still just going to talk to some random people just to see what they say because I can't remember exactly. If I did, I'd be completely nerd. Ah, uh, yeah, right. Coming up over the 30 minute mark, so. See y'all in episode 2 of. Uh, I don't know what to call it yet. Avis Challenge, I suppose.